you talk about uh, the game. Uh, would you are y'all taking any extra precautions, or is there any concern uh, with the cancellation of the UNO game? Well, you... we're like we would like to find a replacement. Uh, so I have my coaches kind of calling around to see if um, you know somebody has an opening Saturday and maybe you know had a cancellation or something and would like to play. So that's the first thing we're trying to do, and. Then um, you know you hope and you pray that everybody's okay with UNO, and I see it looks like a surge is starting up again. I, did I see a lot of NFL uh, guys were testing positive, and so, uh, but we're we haven't, to my knowledge, been exposed to anything. Um, w with the trip to Florida too, though, I mean, you uh, are y'all taking any extra precautions? No, no, just. Do keep doing what you're doing, you know. I um, will leave. Uh, we had planned to leave after the game on Saturday, but uh, our time of departure will be the same, uh, even if we don't get a, a game to replace that game. Okay. Um, and uh, going into uh, the uh, Alcorn State game, what, what <clears throat> well, say? Alcorn State, um, you know, they haven't won a game, so I always tell people and take the approach. I don't care about records. I care about what I see on film. And so we worked on everything potentially that we could see from them, zone, man, presses. But that's not just Alcorn State. That's Clemson. That's Texas Tech, our next game. So a lot of work on us. Um, and I love it. I know the kids don't love it when they have finals because they're focused on finals as they should be. But it gives me a lot of opportunity to coach during breaks like this. So today it was short. Um, but it was a lot of stuff that we did attacking zones. Last night you talked a lot about Alexis Morris and how she's developed both on the court and off. Has she taken a leadership role on this team? Well, I think your leadership role starts with those returning seniors. I think what she has taken upon herself is let me be a contributor. Let me help us in any way that I can. And I think, you know, she hasn't been on the floor much the last two years. So she's on the floor a lot. She's getting back in basketball shape. Not shape as in running and, and being, con, you know, out of breath. Shape in that you can play for long periods of time and knock down shots. So, um, you know, she's just a great addition to our, our team. And uh, I think the, the players will tell you they're excited that she's a part of our team. Do you see her continually, continuously progressing as the season goes on? Absolutely, as she should, as she should. Coach, you kind of mentioned uh, just the focus for you. You had that, whatever, nine days it was between while they were taking finals. Uh, as you approach conference with, uh, I mean, you still have the trip to Florida left. Where's the focus? Um, on either side of the ball, is there any specific area you're at, like, we need to improve this? Well, there's too many areas that we need to improve, uh, but I'll refrain from telling that publicly. I'll let the teams we play look at scout, you know, scout us. Uh, but we are playing very confident. We're shooting the ball well. We're shooting the three ball well. We're big inside. I'd like for us to get more touches inside, but uh, that's an old point guard in me talking, is that we're only as good as our post players. And, um, you know, they're getting better. I, I just I like where we are right now. The worry thing, the worrisome thing I have in my mind right now is when you go on the road and play in tournaments before Christmas break, will they be focused or are they thinking about going home for Christmas? And I always try to um, schedule, and I didn't have anything to do with the schedule, but I always, when we do scheduling, I worry about that because that's where you see a lot of your upsets. Hey, Coach, here in the back. Uh, Grant pointed out to me that your three-point shooting is amongst the best in the country. And it seems like before you got here, LSU couldn't hit one of those. Um, what, what is the reason for uh, improvement? Is it did they work on it during the offseason, something you implemented? or? Well, I'd love to tell you, man, I did all these wonderful things. I changed their shot and all. Listen, I don't mess with shots. What I do is I try to mess with their confidence, and I want them to be confident to shoot it. Don't be afraid to shoot it. You miss it, shoot it again. You miss it, shoot it again. Uh, we have really good guards, and I think we have guards that have experience. And so those shots that they may not have taken earlier in their careers, they're not afraid to do it now. And some days you'll have good games, and some days you won't, but don't be afraid to shoot it. 
And um, we have posts that when we're not shooting it well from out there, hey, get some post touches, get some offensive boards. Uh, talking about the post, do you feel like since your team's a post-oriented offense that it allows three-point shooters to be more open because everybody's concentrating on inside? Well, let me help you. I don't look at myself as a post-oriented offense. I do always have good post players in my career, and, and that's because I played point guard and I just know how valuable post players are. If those post players need to be our dominant scorers, they will be. It will surface. It's not you just draw it up and say they need to be our two leading scorers. If they are, then it will surface. If they're just ones that need to be getting touches in order to every, for everyone to, to guard us um, you know, respectfully, then we'll do that. Uh, I think confidence comes from success. Confidence, confidence comes from knowledge. And I think every time we can get on that floor – we become a little bit more confident. And <clears throat> we know what lies ahead. We know the great talent in the SEC. We know the games we're not supposed to compete in. But if we can just compete and have a little bit success, I think that um, those three-point shooters will continue to, to surface. <clears throat> Um, as your team's progressing, do you feel like you're ahead of schedule than maybe what you might have thought before in preseason? Well, we haven't arrived. That's for sh certain. We're having a little bit of success in that we beat a, a very good, talented, uh, ranked team. We, we beat Missouri State, who you just saw the other night, beat Missouri in our league by 28. So I recognize those teams that aren't ranked, that are good, that have you know a history with their programs. But we haven't arrived. We've just won games to this point, and yet we're going to celebrate some of those little games that are big for our program to grow and, and rebuild. All right, thank you, guys. All right.